A few days ago, I bought a automation software on AppSumo called Active Pieces. Now, Active Pieces is a open source automation software similar to like Zapier or Make or If This Then That. But what I thought was really cool about this is that this supported Mastodon and Matrix, something which I've never seen in any other automation software. So as a user of Mastodon and Matrix, I'm like, hey, this is pretty cool. I've never seen this before. And I was like, okay, let me buy this and uh, let me see what kind of automations I can set up using this. So I've played around with it and I think it's pretty interesting. And I wanted to make this video just to share it with you so you can also see what this uh, amazing actually uh, open source automation software can do. So let's get into it. So here we have the Active Pieces website. Anyone who has used any type of other automation software such as Zapier or Fably Connect will be very familiar with this type of an interface where you set up your trigger and then after that you have your connections connecting to that trigger and that's where your automation flows from. And going down here, we see that Active Pieces is open source. Now, more specifically, once you dive into it a little bit more, you'll find out that Active Pieces is actually open core, which means that the core of the product is open source. However, some premium features do require uh, a payment or a subscription. So this could be very similar to how Mattermost or Rocket Chat, for example, operate. A lot of the nice examples you see here of what you can do with it. These are quite typical, quite standard. But what I really want to show you is some of the more out of the box, some of the more unique um, connections that Active Pieces offers, which you don't see in other um, automation software. So moving on here, uh, before I go on, I just did want to show you that I did get this deal on AppSumo. And as you can see here, it starts at $59, which is an absolute steal of a deal. So if you really just want to get to the software uh, without seeing anything anymore, I highly suggest um, you can grab this from uh, AppSumo. I will put a link to this down in the description below. If you go down here, um, you'll see that there are three tiers that they offer. Uh, I bought license tier two. I would not recommend getting license tier one because um, for $59, um, you're getting 10,000 tasks, which is enough for a very light use, I would say. I mean, 10,000 tasks sounds like a lot, but uh, maybe for light use and all that. But as you start to grow into the automation software more and you find more uses for it, uh, I think you'll definitely hit that 10,000. Um, limit and then of course there's only a there's a 10 minute sync time so you have, you have to wait 10 minutes between each trigger and uh, since this is a lifetime deal you only have to pay this amount once why not pay the $129 or if you're really a power user $239 one time and then for the rest of your life you have the ability to use 50,000 tasks or even 200,000 tasks per month um, with a shorter sync time. So I got the license tier two because for me, 50,000 was enough. And I do actually have some other automation software that I purchased from AppSumo, uh, incidentally. Um, but uh, this is what I got and it's the one I recommend. Don't, don't go for this one, at least go for this. So Active Pieces uses the concept here of pieces where um, this is what's how they describe the connections that uh, their automation software can connect to. Uh, you've got a lot of the usual suspects um, if you're just looking for like, the standard ones like Airtable, for example. Uh, here we have down here the, a lot of the Google ones. Google Sheets is obviously a standard a Google Drive uh, among a lot of them. But some of the more unique ones I just wanted to point out in this video. Approval. Approval is where you can set up a uh, approval uh, stop in your automation where it doesn't proceed anymore until you have actually approved it, which I thought was pretty interesting. If we scroll down a bit more, CSV, this is where it can read a CSV and turn it into a JSON, or it can read a JSON and turn it into a CSV. Moving down, HTTP, this will make an HTTP uh, outgoing uh, uh, webhook. Invoice Ninja, Invoice Ninja is a very popular uh, open source invoicing software. Uh, I use it personally. Um, it's nice to see that that's included here. Now, these are the two that I thought were exceptionally interesting, Mastodon and Matrix. If you're not familiar with Mastodon or Matrix, um, they're basically different communication platforms or um, Matrix is a, is, an, is a communication protocol 
And Mastodon uh, is a federated social media uh, network. Uh, quite popular uh, in the Fediverse, uh, if you're familiar with that. Um, maybe viewers on YouTube uh, won't be as familiar with this, but if you're not, definitely do check out Mastodon um, in terms if you're looking for an alternative social media network and Matrix if you're looking for a different type of communication protocol. But since I'm a user of both Mastodon and Matrix, I thought it'd be very interesting to purchase active pieces and uh, try and build something like that. Modic, another popular uh, open source software. This is a open source marketing software. And that pretty much covers uh, what they have here. Uh, you do have the usual suspects like YouTube, Telegram, um, Stripe, if you're using it for payments. So I've been playing around with uh, active pieces for about a day. And so I thought I would actually just show you my dashboard and then you could kind of see what I've been doing and maybe get some ideas on how you can integrate this. Specifically in here, I'm going to show you how I was playing around with the Mastodon and the Matrix integration. So this here is my uh, Active Pieces dashboard. Um, pretty quickly, I'll just go through it here. Uh, under flows, these are the uh, flows that you have set up, basically the automations. Uh, right now you can see I have three, three that are um, basically posting to social media. Runs will show you the history of your automations, the uh, tasks, how they have processed, whether they, whether they were successful or not. Um, I haven't actually started running any of mine, so that's why this is blank. But once I do start running them, then this is where I'll start to be able to see the history. The connections tab lets you see all the connections that you've made uh, from active pieces to the different apps so for example i've set up a matrix connection here this is a twitter one a mastodon another mastodon another this is a telegram this is a twitter so i run a, a small uh, uranium news twitter account where i share uh, daily uh, news articles about uh, uranium and uranium uranium investing and I thought it'd be pretty interesting to be able to push that content to Mastodon um, and Matrix uh, and Telegram. Not that I think that there's a very large audience uh, on those platforms for this type of content. It's very niche. However, I just thought, hey, since I can do it and it's something I've been wanting to do, why not? So this was a good example for me to use this automation software. So I'm gonna show you how I set it up uh, just to give you some ideas on how you can uh, uh, use automation software like this to push your content across multiple platforms. So here you can see an active pieces flow that I have set up and it starts off with a Google Sheet. Uh, anytime a new row is added to the Google Sheet, that is the trigger. And then after that, a series of events uh, occur. And these are the connections, the pieces that uh, I've connected to this trigger. So the first thing it does is that it sends a text message. It sends a message to a Telegram channel that I've set up uh, called Uranium Daily, where it broadcasts the content which is in the Google Sheet, which is basically a, a tweet and a link to the content. Um, it, it could be an article or it could be a video. And uh, by putting that into the Google Sheet, that Google Sheet basically uh, serves as the center of truth. It's the one place I put in the information and then after that it flows to the rest of the uh, connections. So the first thing it does is it goes and it posts this uh, as a Telegram message in the channel, the Telegram channel that I've set up. The next thing that it does is that it posts this as a Mastodon post. Uh, the same uh, text, the same uh, basically the same tweet, the same link that was sent in the Telegram chat, uh, it gets then sent uh, as a Mastodon uh, post. Same goes for Twitter, it gets posted to Twitter, and here it is, uh, you can see Matrix, uh, it gets sent as a message in a Matrix channel. So what that looks like uh, very quickly is, for example, here, here is the Twitter account, here is a, uh, a tweet and a link to a video, and if I were to open up the Mastodon page, you can see here the very same tweet and the very same video has uh, already been posted. And here we have a, a uh, matrix uh, room that I've set up. And you can see here that it's got the same tweet and the same video link. Now that was a very simple example of what I just set up. 
Of course, there's a lot more you can do. Um, I do actually have other automation software, um, which I had purchased before. And on that one, I've been doing a lot more of integrating OpenAI and ChatGPT into the automation. Um, and that is something definitely that this software can do. And I'm actually going to be spending more time playing around with that as well. I just wanted to make this really quick video um, because I saw this um, Mastodon and Matrix integration. And to me, that was quite interesting because there is a way that you can, for example, post uh, with other automation software such as Zapier uh, or if this, then that uh, using webhook calls uh, to a Mastodon server. But it, it's a little bit more technical and you have to go through like a, you have to know what like an HTTP webhook is. You have to, you know, make you have to know what a post is. It's 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 nice to see that Mastodon and Matrix were just integrated here as an app, and the setup on this was quite simple and straightforward, and you didn't have to kind of go into the technical. So that's why I liked this software, and I wanted to make this quick video and just share it with you. Uh, especially, I think the people in the Fediverse or any Matrix user would get quite pleased seeing um, something like this, uh, seeing their platform of choice getting some support um, in a in a automation software. So I hope this video helped. Uh, I did put a link down in the description below to active pieces in case you want to buy that deal on AppSumo. Like I said, uh, don't get the level one uh, deal. Go for level two at least. I don't think you'll ever regret it. $129 and you've paid for one time and that's it for the rest of your life. You can use this software. So with that, I'll sign off and I'll see you in my next video.